to the next segment of P1 transduction. Um, after about four hours of letting the P1 phage infect, we can now see that our rec A um, culture infected by the donor phage has cleared up. In fact, if you can see, there's a bunch of things swirling around um, that show lysis. So the next several steps would just involve adding chloroform to this um, so that it can kill off the remaining donor cells if there are any alive and help with the precipitation of cell debris because you don't want cell debris to end up in your donor phage stock. So we won't go through all those steps because they're relatively straightforward. But basically, after a little bit more work, you end up with donor phage stock, which is good if refrigerated for a few weeks. And that's the end of preparing donor phage stock.